Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Looks like we got some more fiberglass, y'all. I got two front door panels for a 06, 07 Tahoe. The customer want me to put two eights in it on each door panel, two sixes, and two tweeters. Trying to come up with something how I'm gonna put them. I think I'm gonna put an eight here, an eight here. And the sixes below them, and the two tweeters over here. Got some wood over here. I'm gonna come over something with this wood. Let me get all this off the table and get set up. I just set my door panel on a piece of wood and kind of traced out the edge of the door panel so I can know how much air I got to work with. You can see the red line and right here it's the handle the handle starts it's from him here down so all this area here is good so i'm gonna position all my speakers in this area here and come up with something i think i'm gonna go with something like this here with the two eights up here and the sixes and the tweeters this Twitter here gonna be round by an original era of this one. set up like I want it now. I know it look kind of crazy right now, but once I put that fleece on it, it'll start taking form. I got some legs along the bottom of it. I just got them now until I fiberglass it. Once I fiberglass it, it'll be strong enough.
make the piece strong now by putting some fiberglass mat on it. I had already put some resin on it. So I got my fiberglass mat over here in pieces. It's made by Evercoat. I just grabbed my piece the size of what I'm working with. Put it there. And just keep piecing in all the spots. Then get you some more resin. Cover it up with resin. Just keep dabbing it in. You want to do this on the whole piece. About three times. Put about three layers of fiberglass mat. trying to wrap up my sanding. I got the five inch DA sand out. As you can see, I done knocked down most of it. I still got to cut out my ends of my fleece and cut my speaker rings out. I think I'm finna do that now. Then I'll be ready for some filler. I still got to do that one over there too. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one up. I got some 80 grit on the DA, but I'm knocking it down with. I got the openings cut out to my speakers. I also went on to cut out the edge around my fleece. I got it knocked down enough to put some fill on it. I was gonna spray some fill on, but I think I'm gonna make up some rondo so I can brush it on. If you want to know how to do the rondo, check out my video, how to make rondo. Knock down. I'm just going back touching up the spots that I seen need to be touched up.
if you think you done saying it, you actually not. Just go back over it. Just keep going back over it. It'll pay off in the long run. See this spot here where the fleece meets the original panel. I'm just gonna get some fiberglass filler, mix them up, and bevel this off with my hand, but with my finger. But this area here, it's gonna be covered up with the handle and the armrest. But here, I'm gonna have to do the same because it's gonna be showing. So that's the fiberglass filler. I just wiped it with my finger. When you're doing this fiberglass, it's gonna always look ugly in the beginning. Don't get discouraged. Just keep on moving. And then it start taking shape towards the end. I got it ready for some primer now. Both door panels. I went on and took my masking tape off. I'm gonna remask it because that masking tape that was old probably had a little tear in it from some spots. So I ain't wanna get no primer on this here. So I'm just gonna remask this. But I bevel around my edges off. See how uh, this built it off. I had to retouch my tweeter holes, redo them because the mountain holes weren't lining up. Well, it was lined up, but some of it wasn't straight, and you probably weren't gonna get no fiberglass, so I had redone it. On all of them. What I'm finna do now, I'm finna go ahead and blow everything off. Then I'm gonna remask this. And I think I'll be ready to shoot some primer. I had to cut this back and out too because the magnet was hitting the back just on this one. Got the door panels outside. I'm gonna get ready and block this one with some 180. 
I got some paint stirring sticks. I cut down the size. I already unblocked this one over here with 180. I also went ahead and put some glaze and put it on my imperfections I found after the block. Also up in here, trying to feather this off. I think I'm about ready to go ahead and spray my final round of primer now. Got everything sanded down, remasked some of the spots on both door panels. Let me go ahead and mix up this primer and I'm cut it back on. The primer done dried up. I had went on and put some glaze and put it on my little imperfections that I seen once I primed it. Just little pinholes and I was trying to smooth this on out, the transition on out. So I done that. I'm finna go ahead and put some guide coat on it so I can know once I uh, start wet sanding. I know once it's smooth enough to put the base coat on. But this is what I'm going to use for my guide coat. I'm just going to use some flat black spray paint. I'm just going to mist it on. Once you get through spraying the guide coat, you're going to get you some soap and water and some 400 grit wet sandpaper. I got a soft sponge block. I folded my sandpaper up in threes. Then just take it up here and start wet sand. Once you wet sand a certain area, go ahead and get you a rag, squeeze it out some, and just wipe the area you done done so you can inspect it. The only thing you want to see is the gray primer. See, that's good. See, I hadn't even wet sanded this part here. Yeah. But if you see some black, that means you got to come down some more, like here. This spot here was a little bit lower, so I didn't reach the black paint, so I got to come down some more. I still haven't done this, but I've done all the way around. There's a little low spot here. You can see the black paint. I haven't done this. I stored it right here. Just gotta work your way on around. Donald's back in the booth. 
Both of them been wet sanded and taped up. I'm ready for the base coat now. The base coat is gonna be a jet black. Three coats of the jet black base. And to go ahead and mix up the chameleon. The chameleon is a flip from blue to green.
the stars. Right from the bottom to the top, from the 